Hello artists, today we will be creating an illuminated letter. You may work inside your art journal or you can use a separate piece of paper. You'll need some sort of straight edge, a pencil and eraser, permanent ink markers, and then other type of coloring devices, either colored pencils, crayons, markers, watercolor pencils, whatever you have at home readily available, that's what you should use. Let's get started on our project. To begin, we will take the straight edge, line it up along one vertical edge, and lightly draw a pencil line. Go over to the other vertical edge, and also draw a pencil line. You can make the border as thick or thin as you want. Okay, and then once you have your outside lines drawn in, you will want to draw in a frame. I am just going to make it this width. That's since that's easy enough to do and you don't have to measure, you're welcome to do whatever size you want. But this will just create a little border around my letter. And now the next thing that you need to do is draw a single letter. It could be the first letter of your first name, it could be the first letter of your last name, or some other letter that's important to you. I'm going to do the letter J. I'm just going to sketch it in here and make it a little bit fancy. It's okay if it extends into your border. You can see I'm just drawing a sketchy line. That's fine because you'll be going over your pencil marks that you want to keep with the Sharpie marker or a permanent ink marker. Okay, so there's my letter J. And then I do need to draw something with the J. You can make a story if you like. You can draw, have things in the border. It's really up to you what you're going to do. I am really fond of butterflies, so I'm going to draw a butterfly here. Maybe I'll draw another smaller one here. And then around the outside, I am going to place uh, some flowers and vines. Okay, so I have sketched in the design that I think I want, and now I will go over it with the black Sharpie marker. Okay, so now that I've added color to my entire illuminated letter, you can see that the areas that I colored in yellow represent gold. And what you can do uh, to make it a little bit shiny, you can do this both with colored pencil and crayons, is you can burnish it by taking either a tissue or in this case a cotton swab and going over it like this, kind of pressing and blending the either colored pencil or uh, crayon into the paper. It just makes it look a little bit shinier. You may not be able to see that through the video uh, camera, but it does burn. It's called burnishing, and you can do that anywhere. You can even do it with the pink area. You will get a little bit of color onto the cotton swab. So you wanna make sure that you don't now take this and go onto the yellow. So you would keep one end for yellow, one end for the other colors. And it just evens the color out a little bit and adds a little bit of shine to it. And then once you're done with that part, then you can take a look at it and see if there's any areas where you might wanna go over it again with your Sharpie marker. Uh, I would like to add some details, so I will do that now. 